Guys, welcome back to Rotter's Garage. As you can see, I just threw a brand new sheet of 18 gauge sheet metal down on the floor. That is because I am going to start making some patch panels for the old Yard Art Model A here. Now, in the last video, I went ahead and got my new cross member, new used cross member in the front of my rails here, got everything squared out from the firewall, bodies bolted down, made myself a nice new front cross member, and put the new front horns on the frame that were totally mutilated off when I got the car. So we're all good on the frame here, and as I said in the last video, we're going to go ahead and start focusing on basically the firewall and the cowl patches. So when it comes to the firewall, basically I'm going to plug every single hole in this thing except the ones I need and basically the only ones I need left here uh, are basically the choke where the choke's going to come down through and honestly I probably am not even going to need that because we're probably going to run a downdraft carburetor which is going to be a choke cable, not the original linkage, but I am going to leave that one just for the heck of it. The rest of them are going, all of them for the most part. We're going to leave the steering hole and that is about it. We're going to patch this notch here which I don't really 100% remember what this was for. If the starter comes through here, the throttle, might be the throttle, but you can always recut that later, I guess, because it's kind of mutilated here on the corner, as you can see. I think you can see that. Yeah, right there. Kind of mutilated on the corner. Just going to patch that out, and I can always re-notch it later. Also, the wiring. The original wiring came through here. You can see on the inside, we have that horseshoe kind of piece of tin in there. The original wiring came down there, and there was like a resin block that bolted on these four holes with a cap and that your wiring would basically come into the engine bay through there. I'm gonna seal all that off right away too. Basically we're gonna use newer style grommets to get our wiring out to the engine and probably a grommet down lower to run our wire, wire, uh, wiring down the rail up to the headlights when we get that far. So basically we're gonna shave the whole firewall right off. We'll get this fuel tank out of the way. This is still the junk fuel tank. And after we get that firewall done, we're gonna go ahead and make ourselves a couple new cowl patches here. Get this all tied up, maybe take care of these rot holes in the pillar while we're at it too and just get everything done up to the front of the doors. So that's the plan. I'm gonna pull the gas tank. Let's start patching some stuff up. So I got all the nastiness stripped off around all these holes on the firewall. We are ready to start patching. I'm going to go ahead and start off with all these little holes first, the ones that we can just fill with the welder. I've got myself two pieces of copper here so I can switch off so one's not getting so hot that it's burning through my glove. We're going to hit all those little holes first, then we'll make some templates for the bigger ones and get those filled in as well.
All right, well, I got the entire firewall patched up here on the Art Art Model A. I also filled in that choke hole as well. I was debating on doing that or not. I did fill it in and blend it all out because I know for a fact I'm running a downdraft carburetor and I figured why not just fill it in. I'm never going to be using that original linkage on it again anyway. So I filled every hole in in the firewall. If we go down here to this notch, I realized exactly what this was. That is the throttle pedal notch where the throttle pedal comes through. There would have normally been a piece of plywood sitting in this area here on the inside of the car and the throttle pedal would come through that. So I did leave it in because that should come out in the original spot right here. But I did fix that corner. As you can see, I got some weld piled in there, ground off and shaped, so it's all looking pretty good right now. The firewall is complete. So at this point, let's move on to making some cowl patches for down here on the bottom on both sides. Alright, well we left off over here on the passenger side the other night and I was going to go ahead and start patching the lower part of this pillar and basically I came in this morning and was thinking about that and I'm like, boy, I wonder if the door pins are actually going to come out of this thing and believe it or not, they did. I went ahead and just took a punch. I don't have one of those little fancy press tools or anything, but I put a punch on the bottom and I got all of them. All three, all six I should say on both sides, about halfway out right now. So I'm going to go ahead and just knock the pins out and take the doors off this thing right away. It's going to be a lot easier for me to patch this pillar down here. I won't have to work around the bottom edge of the door. And next step is actually going to be patching the doors anyway. So we need to take them off for that. Because I do have a lot of pinholes up top here. And actually this side is a lot better then the driver's side this one's really bad over here so it's going to be a lot easier with these off and on the saw horses when i start repairing those so let's pop these pins out get that lower pillar patched over here on the passenger side and get those cowl patches complete Much easier to get at this now. Let's go ahead and get this patched up.
All right, well, that pretty much wraps up the cowl patch here on the passenger side. If you noticed, I did a lot of hammering along that seam there. Not only was that to flatten it out where my weld line was, but also because there's actually quite a crown in the middle of these cowl panels. And you'll actually notice a lot of times when people do patch them up or on certain other Model A's where this has been redone down here, where it's just this lower section, not the whole replacement panel, that they kind of flatten out at the bottom where that curve normally did run kind of almost all the way down, like pretty much right to the bottom edge. Now, if you come up to the top, I can show you what I'm talking about. We have a little bit of a curve here on the actual cowl. And if I put my straight edge on it, you can see that. And if we carry that straight down through, you're gonna see that kind of pulled away there. You're gonna see that that roll or that dip in the cowl panel is in there all the way down. I got it hammered in. It is smooth and it is pretty much wrapped up on this side. On the other side, I already went ahead and welded it up because I didn't figure you needed to see the same process twice. But this side, I did not hammer yet. And I probably should have hammered it right after grinding just because there's a little more heat in it and now it's cooled off. But shouldn't be a problem. If we look at this side with the straight edge coming down, you're gonna notice there's our roll at the top, and when we get a little bit closer to our weld area, look, it's already disappearing there. And right there, we are pretty much tight. We got a little bit of roll in there, but we need a little more than that. And that's actually pretty much right where our panel comes in. You can see that that's not a very smooth transition. And we're a little high here on the weld line at the back and the front, really. So I'm going to go ahead and hammer this out real quick. And that'll pretty much wrap up the patching. Um, after that, I think we're gonna go ahead and cut the six remaining bolts holding it on the car and drop it off because down here on the bottom, if you notice the way I did this, I cut a piece with my radius on it and attached it to the pillar and then just tack welded the panel to it on the inside. We'll go over here and look. You can see it's just tacked there. Now the reason I have to pull it off is because this is a nice roll up here at the top and when we get here, we're a square cut edge just because I butted the face of this new panel on it. So we're gonna have to pull this off, weld the inside of that patch up, and then I can radius this corner on the outside with the grinder to match the top a little bit better. After that, we can bolt everything back on and it'll probably be the last time it ever comes off because the floorboards are gonna get welded to the inside of the cowl to finish this off at some point here where this structure comes forward. And another reason to pull it off is there's still some gasket material left in here from original original style gasket material left in here. So we're gonna get rid of that too. Anyway, let's hammer this, get this thing off, clean that up. And after that, we can bolt it back on and that pretty much wraps up the cowl portion of patching on here. All right, so at this point, the cowl is pretty much ready to put back onto the car, but I'm not gonna do that quite yet because I figured as long as it's out of our way, I'm gonna go ahead and make a new header panel for the top up here above the windshield right away as well. Now, basically on every one of the Model A's I've ever done, sedans or coupes like this, basically when I do a metal roof, which is what I'm going to be doing on here in the future, when I put a metal roof on, a one inch tube, a one inch square tube, usually if you set that right on top of this panel, slide it under the roof line like this that gets you a nice straight front edge on it and a place to put the visor back onto the car normally there would have been a piece of wood here obviously that's gone so instead of putting a one inch tube on top of this because this one is so basically rotted out on the bottom all the way across instead of patching all those holes i'm just going to make a whole new panel and make it an inch taller right off the bat that'll get us put under the roof line here and basically we'll weld that down to the top and then in the future when we do the roof 
we can put the visor right on top of that, just plug weld everything down, and the visor will flow right into the sheet metal on the roof of this thing. So first things first, I'm gonna tack weld a piece of tubing across the pillars here, so when I cut this out, things don't spread or move. Then we're gonna get rid of this, make our new panel, and basically we'll just weld it back in. This one's got rivets on it, and I think there's one bolt on the inside holding it as well. We're gonna just ditch all that stuff, we'll weld the new one on, and we should be good to go. So let's pull this thing out and make a new one. Well guys, that pretty much wraps up all the patching on the cowl on the old Yard Art Model A. It is all bolted on and that's probably the last time it's ever going to be taken off again. Threw the gas tank on just so we can make sure everything fits good again and it does. Everything lines up really nice on it. Cowl patch has turned out really nice. The hammering, the bodywork basically, the metalwork, that turned out really nice. We have our rolls and everything looks right and it matches up to the body really nice on the bottom on both sides here just like it should. Lines are nice and tight now that we got all the old garbage taken out of them. Oh, and the header panel, that turned out really good too. I didn't really get you guys a good shot up here, but this all blended in really nice. And if we climb up here, you can see on both sides, you saw me pull the radius in out here. That pretty much matches the original one very closely. And you can see out here on the sides, I'm down down here a little bit from the actual roof line and that's because I preset this down about a sixteenth of an inch because when I put my new steel roof in this thing I want it to come up basically to the front edge of this panel or or somewhere in the middle depending on how I put the visor on so I did leave this a little bit lower so when the sheet metal comes in it lines up nice with the roof out here and we can weld that seam up and it's just a smooth transition all the way up as for the patching out here on the ends that turned out really nice too and pretty much wraps it up. This side here I did leave a gap. 
I'm not gonna worry about that right now because like I said, the sheet metal is gonna come out and butt to this. Once that's welded in, that's just gonna get covered anyway. Pretty much at that point, uh, as for this type of stuff, obviously the roof's gonna go on top. I do have something I'm planning on doing with the sides over here. I've done it once before, basically making a, a filler panel for this. So we'll do that in another video as well. Probably in the same video when we do the roof. So, so yeah, that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for this one, guys. We have basically everything on the cowl section done to up to this point, other than tying it into the floor, which will be done when we actually do the floor pan. So everything's patched up solid and ready to go up here. For the next video, I think we're gonna move on to doors and patching the quarter panels on both sides. Those doors are gonna take quite a bit of work to get done, but I think we'll do those and then try to finish off all the metal work down here on the bottoms and possibly maybe even make that tail pan on the back just to tie it all together and then all the sheet metal work on the actual body will be done at that point. After that, we're down to deck lid roof and floor pan. So appreciate it guys. Thanks for watching. Till next time.